Over the past three months, I've discovered these five AI tools that will replace your entire SaaS team. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the lab where I teach you how to build businesses with no code and AI. For each tool, I'll give you a short intro, tell you what you can use it for, and also give you a tutorial if possible. Okay, now strap yourself to your seat because you will not believe this one. On March 12th, 2024, a company called Cognition Lab released a tweet that completely shook the programming world. They had built the first AI software engineer capable of writing code, building websites, and developing software with a single text prompt. And if you think that's crazy, listen to this. This AI programmer called Devon was able to pass the practical interview process for some of the top AI engineering company. He was also able to successfully complete real world tasks on Upwork for paying customers. If that doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will, my friends. Now, even though Devon is not publicly available right now, their closed beta has shown results that are mind blowing. It can write code and build websites. It can autonomously find and fix bugs inside of a code base. And it can also train and fine tune its own AI models. Pretty scary, right? Now, according to the founder, Scott Wu, Devon was designed to work alongside side programmers not to replace them. Now with this first tool, I'm gonna to be replacing one of the most boring parts of any business, which is customer support. Constantly answering the same questions over and over, having to deal with people losing their passwords, providing technical support, and of course, helping people recover their emails. And for this, we're gonna be using a platform called Aidbase. So Aidbase is an AI customer support tool. You can train it on all the data you have, and then you can deploy it as a chatbot inside your interface. You can deploy it as a ticketing system that's well organized and already answering questions via AI. AI. You can accelerate your email support, and most importantly, you can embed it into your platform, into your app, based on the requirements that you have. Ultimately, providing a full set of tools. Now, once I log in on the left-hand side here, we're gonna see a couple things. The activity, so this is basically gonna show us the chats, the tickets, the emails. We're gonna have the knowledge base, so what we've actually trained as the information we want this customer support to actually have. Then we're gonna go ahead and create elements and below it shows you how to connect them and also to get help. So the first thing you'll wanna do is go ahead and add your knowledge base. So I came in here and I added my website, wearenocode.com. Then I added the two programs that we have. One's a coaching program, the other one is a course package. Then I went in here and I actually trained it on some of my YouTube videos. So I just jumped in here and I added some of these videos. Uh, you might have some videos, you might not. I just dropped the URLs here and it just identified the video automatically and it brought it in and it then trained the model on it. Then documentation. I came in here and I had one PDF that I wanted to upload to train it on our coaching program. So this is where I uh, uploaded it. And finally, FAQs. Here I didn't actually add anything this time, but you could. Next, I would determine what do I actually wanna create? Well, I want a chatbot for my website, for example. Hi there, I'm Christian AI, a clone of our founder, but cooler. How can I help you? And that's the default message that'll pop up first. Then we're gonna go into the knowledge base and we're gonna determine what are actually the things. So I've added the website, I've added the videos, I've also added the document. So the next step is gonna to be to train it. So behavior over here. So here what we have to do is give it a role, we have to give it a goal, and we have to give it a specific set of instructions on how we want it to achieve that goal. So this is what I put. Your name is Christian AI, specialized in no-code tools and AI for entrepreneurs and business owners. Your goal is to answer any questions browsing customers have and to direct them towards the appropriate programs if necessary. So you could basically create something like that and you just write it in here. Underneath here, there's a couple settings. I just left them on casual in terms of conversational style and the creativity moderate. Then there are connections, there are settings that you can adapt over here um, and you can then install it. So all I would do here is just grab this code and put it in the header of my website, for example. And then it would just appear like this on the right hand side. Then I could create ticketing forms. So here I can add a new ticketing form Let's go ahead and add one. And it's a very similar process here. On the right hand side, I can see the example of this. I can embed this inside of a page. I could have it also as a pop-up and I can basically add the knowledge I want it to have. I can add the specific fields that I'd like it to have. I can then connections, settings and install. You can grab the code here, HTML and just install it. And so here you could install it as a widget, which is basically just like a little pop-up or you could also have it embedded inside a page. But let's face it, for those of us who are not programmers, what do we actually love the most about apps and websites? That beautiful, sweet, sweet design. So this next tool is called Galileo and it'll help us with just that. By the way, if you're enjoying this and you wanna learn a little bit more about no code and AI, then check out our free newsletter below. You're gonna get lots of tips and tricks to build and grow your business. So Galileo AI is a platform that allows you to design 
design UI UX interfaces or web design using just a single prompt or by uploading an image. You can use this to build designs for your next website, for your next web app, or even mobile apps too. So let's jump in and I'm gonna show you how it actually works. So for this example, I'm going to create a two-sided marketplace to hire machine learning freelancers. We're gonna click on generate and see what it comes up with. Now, the first thing it does, which is amazing, is that it recommends specific screens you might need for an app like that. So here it's already recommending freelancer sign up, profile creation, client sign up, project posting. It's pretty impressive that they've got a lot of these screens right. So I'm actually gonna tell them to just generate all of these screens. Yes, generate them all. Awesome, and just like that, we see that it's created the screens that we've discussed. Since I decided to make it a mobile app, you can see that it is a mobile interface. Um, I can check out this one, for example. You can see that, oh man, this is so cool. It's really created nice design. It already created kind of the homepage, the browse page, post a job, my jobs, and account. This brings us to step two, which is fine tuning the designs. So for example, if I wanted to on this page, which is the specific profile page of an individual, if I didn't want there to be any reviews, I could simply come here and click on edit underneath that. It's gonna select this specific image or screen, and then I'm gonna be able to ask for the edit that I actually want it to do. So remove the reviews section here. And boom, in just a couple seconds, it's created the updated page. As you can see, there is no longer any reviews. And this might be useful because maybe at first there aren't so many reviews of these individuals on the platform. So instead of making it look like everything's empty, I just don't have reviews at first. Now, the third step of the process is exporting or downloading these designs. So if you go to the bottom of each one of these screens, and once you've actually figured out that you are happy with the designs you've created, done a little bit of back and forth, fine tuned it, we can go ahead and export can choose to copy it and paste it to Figma right here. Click on this. And then I could simply right click and paste here. And just like that, I can scroll into this. I can see the entire screen. And from here, I will be able to just click on this at the bottom and I can export it. And I can export it in whatever format I want. Export. Okay, so now that you've replaced a couple expensive hires, it's probably time to find an AI specialist. And this next tool is gonna help us with just that. Now, Synthflow is an AI agent specialized in voice, and it's gonna be able to do outbound calls to a list of leads I have. It's going to be able to extract data. It can also schedule chats if that person passes the interview or bring any information into my CRM. So let's jump in and I'm gonna show you how to build out an agent leveraging this platform. Now, after creating an account and logging in, on the left-hand side, we're gonna see that we have assistance, workflows, integrations and agency. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to create a new agent. I'm going to go ahead and create an assistant. Excellent. I'm going to make it a voice assistant as you can see here. So in this case, I'm going to create a batch over here, which means that it's going to call a list of people who have applied for the job. I'm going to have it perform the first interview. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to configure it. So I'm going to click, I'm going to call this agent uh, Christian AI recruiter. I'm going to select a voice. Let me grab a voice that I like. Here on the right hand side, you'll be able to listen to the voices and then select one. I'll just select this one. Then here, I'm gonna just choose the default system, but you can also choose a specific one that you want. I would just stick to what they have. Uh, the patience, so this will allow it to be very responsive very quickly. Uh, the custom greeting. Hey there, I'm contacting you from We Are No Code. Congrats, you've been selected to participate in the first round of interviews for the AI expert position. Is this a good time? Then I'm just gonna leave the rest blank, enable recordings, perfect, let's go. Now for this section, it's gonna ask me to connect a phone number. So here I have a phone number. If you don't have a phone number, you're gonna have to create one with Twilio, which you can then connect inside of integrations over here. I've connected it already, so let's move forward. The next step is gonna be to connect the CSV. So this is really just a list of leads. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna download the example CSV, which is what I recommend. Bring that up here, and it's gonna show us the format that we actually want. Then you'd go ahead and upload it here. Then we're gonna click on next. And here, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna select what we want it to do. It could send SMSs. It can actually do real-time bookings for maybe the next interview. Uh, it can also extract any info. So in this case, I would use uh, the info extractor. Um, and once we've actually gone ahead and done this, so you'd watch the video, you'd take the following steps. You're going to create the prompt. Now, the prompt here, I would recommend using a template. So. Up here, you can check out the different uh, ones that they have. HR pre-screening, this is pretty nice. It's going to create a full prompt from scratch. You're gonna to wanna to fully adapt this prompt. You're gonna to wanna to give it some background information about the company, objection handling, 
Uh, in this case, you're gonna give it an actual very specific script that you're gonna want it to ask. So there's gonna be question by question. And then it's literally gonna ask all the questions that you have inside. We're gonna apply the prompt here. We're gonna click on next. Once we've adapted that prompt, again, make sure to, we're gonna allocate a budget. So I can put here $10. We're gonna choose the time zone. So choose whatever you want. Starting time, we could start that on this date and we could have it start. I'm just putting in random times here, but you kind of get the picture. And the next thing I do is to try to run a test. So now we're gonna go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna insert my phone number here inside the test panel, and I'm gonna act as if I'm one of the candidates. It's calling me. Hey there, I'm contacting you from We Are No Code. Congrats, you have been selected to participate in the first round of interviews for the AI expert position. Can you tell me about your experience with AI and any specific projects you've worked on recently? Yeah, absolutely. So I spent uh, three years developing the machine learning algorithm uh, that we used for the Tesla self-driving models. Then I spent two years at OpenAI uh, developing certain features in ChatGPT. And now I'm looking for a new position. Wow, that's impressive. Working on Tesla's self-driving model and at OpenAI must have given you a lot of valuable experience. What motivated you to apply for the AI expert position with us at We Are No Code? Well, I'm super enthusiastic about helping entrepreneurs um, build out their companies and existing business owners scale and implement AI. We'll definitely leverage your skills. Given your background. Awesome. So we're going to leave it at that for the moment. But as you can see, it was really interesting how it handled that call. The delays were pretty good. And honestly, it had some pretty good feedback. So it already understood what we did at We Are No Code and was able to kind of like identify OpenAI, Tesla as uh, past credentials. It already saw that it was a pretty good match. Pretty good job, I'd say. So just like that, I was able to fire Chuck, the HR guy who always takes a six hour lunch break. But what about sales? Well, this is exactly what we're gonna talk about in this next tool over here. And it's called Clay. Okay, so Clay is a platform that allows you to to do outbound cold sales. And we can break this down into three steps. The first one is to build out a list of prospects. The next one is to enrich that with AI. And the third one is to use AI to actually create outbound campaigns. So once you've logged in here, you want to go ahead and create a new table over here. You're gonna select how to build out this list. You can also add a list if you'd like. Here, I'm gonna find companies from LinkedIn. So I'm gonna first of all determine which types of companies I want. So here, software development. Let's say that that's my target audience. In terms of company size here, I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, small companies. So two to 10 people. I'm gonna select privately held companies. I can select where I'd like those to be. So here, United States, perfect. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and limit the results because at first we just want to have 10. So here, preview companies. And just like that, it started building out a list, did all the research for me. It also gave me a description of the company. It's giving me the information. And uh, this is really going to be import 10 companies to a new table, which is going to be my lead list. Then we're gonna use this lead list again to enrich it. And then finally to create these outbound campaigns. Now to enrich these, we're gonna go to the top right of the screen and we're gonna click on add enrichment. So here there's lots of different ways that I could do this essentially. Uh, let's say that for example, I wanted to target any software development company that has a website built in Webflow. So I could go here and I could click on tech stack for example, and I could then uh, go ahead and enrich those. We could also select here any sort of company data that we want to go ahead and enrich it with. So here are all of the different options that you have. But let's say that I come here and I wanna do this tech stack. So here, basically just technology filter by, I could put Webflow, I can click save here, and then I can go ahead and run for these 10 rows. And it's actually gonna bring that information right here. And as you can see, it's I de detected one keyword Webflow inside the tech stack for this company called Dave IO. So now I know, okay, excellent. This company is using uh, Webflow, which is a no code tool. And so now that I have this information, of course, there's lots of other enrichment. So here, for example, I could start targeting it and say, hey, I know that you're using Webflow as a website builder. I was wondering if you need any support on that front. Let's say I'm a Webflow development agency. And that brings us to step three, which is actually to set up campaigns with AI. So here I would come back to the home over here on the left-hand side, I would click on clay 
workflow. And here, ultimately, I'll be able to create all these automations that we're actually looking to create. And yes, you can make these emails incredibly customized to the information that we're specifically finding out about these people. So for example, if a company posted about a specific topic, you could actually refer to that topic inside what you are actually writing to them. We could reference Webflow in the cold outreach message. And just like that, we've been able to replace a sales agent as well. And if you're at the phase where you have an idea, but you don't really know how to execute on it, well, then I highly recommend that you check out this video next that's going to teach you how to validate any startup idea in less than 24 hours with no code and AI. Let's go.